The city of Toronto recently opened up a fancy pay toilet. The cost, well, over $400,000. So what does that kind of coin buy you? Well, there's only one person at the Sun News Network who we thought would be the best to take a test drive, so to speak, and that's Menzoid Mornings host David Menzies. Here's his latest Mission Menzoid. So what does $420,000 buy you these days? Well folks, you can get a nice little duplex in West End Toronto, or you could buy a Lamborghini Aventador, or you could buy 112 Hyundai Accent hatchbacks, or you could spend it on this, Toronto's newest pay toilet. $420,000 and if you have to do a number one or a number two, it's going to cost you one of these, 25 cents. Let's go take a look and see what we get for our money. Insert coin. Ooh, class. I'll be right back. Well, folks, this isn't your grandfather's pay toilet, I'll tell you. Look at this, lots of elbow room, baby chain station, plenty of room for more than one person, I'll tell you that. Here's the where you take care of your business. There's even an emergency button. I guess that's when you've uh, really had uh, something that didn't agree with you, I guess. And uh, when you're finished uh, with whatever you have to do in here, check this out. You got your soap. And then your water. And right built into the sink, a, dry, a hand dryer. Fantastic, and I don't know if you can hear, but there's some beautiful, gentle spa music playing. I feel like I'm ready for my massage now. Well, I know what you're thinking, folks. For 25 cents and a pretty nice spread, what's to stop somebody for just staying here all day? Well, actually, you only get 20 minutes for your 25 cents. But don't worry, just like the NFL, there's a two-minute warning for you to vamoose. And I would do that because when this place starts to self-clean, it gets a little wet in here. Goodbye. Thank you. Well, that was quite a pleasant experience, I must say. But still, folks, you got to wonder. It's an odd location for this uh, pay toilet. For example, there are public toilets just about two football fields away. Granted, they're not in use in the off-season here in the beach, but... Uh, Still, the infrastructure did exist. The second thing that's odd is that the pay toilet closes at 11 at night, doesn't reopen till 8 a.m. And from my experience, most of the public urination, it's happening after the bars close in the wee hours of the morning. So not sure why it's not a 24 seven service. Still, it's uh, a lot of toilet for $420,000. Uh, that means um, 1,680,000 uses at a quarter apiece and it'll pay for itself. But the really good news is that not a penny of taxpayer dollars has gone into this. It's all been funded by Astro Media under the city's coordinated street furniture program. So I guess when it comes to the number two business, there are people that know a lot more about it than me. For Sun News Network, I'm David, the very relieved Menzoid Menzies.